ever found yourself frustrated maintaining consistency in your character facial expressions where you want to edit specific parts of the image instead of affecting the whole image? Today we're going to dive into Leonardo AI Canvas Editor to elevate your storytelling and consistent character generation. If you want more content like this, make sure to like and subscribe so we can make more. As an overview, we're going to create different facial expressions using Leonardo AI Canvas Editor. We're going to select a model and configure settings, add a prompt, a negative prompt, and test and apply what you've learned by creating different facial expressions. First, check out the video's description to get the link to the editor, as well as Leonardo AI's official documentation. To configure settings, let's first select the model, and in this case, let's choose Albedo Base Excel. Now let's select the canvas mode, which is text to image, in paint, out paint, image to image, or sketch to image. In this case, we'll mostly be using image to image when we're varying facial expressions. One of the key settings is input strength and how consistent you are with the existing image. And in this case, this is one of the things that you need to tweak uh, to some extent when creating varying facial expressions. For experience to save you time, the value for this that's most effective is, is between 0.27 to 0.33. Of course, you're, you can experiment as you like, but you can start from there. You may also set the number of images you create during each generation. You can enable Alchemy Pipeline, but you don't need to think about that too much. You can select the image dimensions, wherein this is the image dimension where you can edit a specific part of that image. Another key setting is the guidance scale. It is how much weight you put into your prompt, which is the text prompt, and your negative prompt for each image generation. The higher the value of the guidance scale, the higher the influence is of your prompt and negative prompt for that image generation. Also, this is where you place your negative prompt and prompt. And take note that you can get a copy of the prompt and negative prompt in the video description. Next, you can get a copy of a sample image. You can use an uploaded image, an image you generated before, or an image from a community feed. Now we adjust the image and take note that the square box, the height of the square box, is where you can edit. And of course, don't forget to add your prompt and negative prompt. Let's start simple by creating another version of a happy face. And in this case, we have four results. We can scroll, scroll through them. And uh, let's choose this, this one and accept. Let's put the example result to the side as reference for later. There you go. And don't forget to put the edit box uh, back to where you want to edit. Now let's try to create a sad faced image. So again, the prompt example is in the video description. And notice that it's not just putting one or two keywords. Uh, what I, from my experience, it's like you need to add more specific keywords such as deep frown or you describe the shape of the mouth in order to get the facial expression that you like. Okay, in this one, let's save an example to the side as well. In this next example, let's try to create a crying face. So now you need to add objects into the image. So for this one, we can use the pencil tool and we can draw just approximations of tears running down the face. Here are the sample results. Let's go through them and select a sample result that you can save for later as reference. Now let's try to create a disgusted face. So ever, uh, ever experience smelling something that's not good and foul and you have your disgusted face. So let's go through the sample results. If there's anything uh, we can have as a sample reference that we can save for later. OK, 
Okay, here we go. And let's save that. How about creating an angry face? So let's try to do that. So take note of the creases on the brows and the mouth. So let's go through the sample images generated. Okay, this one looks good. And also save that for later. And as a last example for this case, let's create a more nuanced face from the happy face, which is being excited. So let's try to generate that and see the sample results. So notice that the eyes are much more wide and the smile much more expressed as if somewhat surprised or see something for the first time. Okay, let's, that's good to go. And as well, we save it for later. And here you go. Basically, we have generated six different types of facial expressions. Of course, you can tweak it as much as you like, but you, you eventually with practice, you will get the hang of it. As a brief recap, we're able to configure the model and settings, such as in this case, we use Alvedo Base Excel. We configure the input strength and the guidance scale to create different facial expressions. We were adding different prompts and we had a stable negative prompt uh, when generating our different facial expressions or images. As well as we were able to practice them and I would suggest that you try this yourselves as well. And the prompts and everything you need is in the video description. AI is such a powerful tool when it comes to consistent characters and storytelling in general. Check out these videos to learn more about image generation and prompt engineering.